what's more plug and play that's a good question man that's a really good question because there's a lot of angles to that you're on budget don't have knowledge to fafo i'm assuming you have no overclocking knowledge going with this question okay no overclocking knowledge um basic pc building knowledge only uh and intel well obviously because you wanted to and uh want it to just work and also um highest fps or performance performance so depending on where you are in the budget spectrum right um if you go z690 this is the cheapest if you go z690 get ddr4 just straight up do not get ddr5 with z690 under any circumstance man unless it's msi but they don't make them anymore like you can't buy a unify x or a itx unify anymore right so but they still have the ddr4 msi oh and um has to be msi <laughs> like just straight up or or the the one um um strix only not the prime the strix the strix only so any model so any z690 msi ddr4 you're laughing it's just gonna work the strix z the, the strix asus z690 the white one the strix a that one's a thumbs up too that's the only one though the only one right uh if you need white that's the only one so that's gonna be your most plug and play if you get ddr5 and z690 it's not gonna work it's just not gonna work period on any of the pla on, on any of them right um now z790 most plug and play for intel i would say uh, cheapest z790i edge no actually i can't say that because it gets too hot yeah i don't know because you can you can get the z790 edge but if you, I had this, I just had this issue with the consult two days ago, right? The guy bought the edge and he bought, um, he bought, uh, okay. You know what? Okay. Okay. I have, I have a very specific solution. Very specific. Okay. If you're Z790 budget, this is, this is insanely specific. Okay. Z790i edge. Team group DDR5 sticks. Top fans intake. There. That will work. Not G skill sticks. That will work. Okay. I had a consult literally just the other day. The guy bought, the guy had the 7800 sticks. Uh, these ones. 7800 c36 1.45 volts it it was hitting 65 celsius on xmp i couldn't overclock them at all i couldn't touch them 65 c uh these were the g skill yeah and then what the guy did uh vendetta if you're watching what the guy did was he flipped the top fans to intake he put a fan on the back of the motherboard this was a z790i edge and he put a vrm fan underneath blowing up into the ram and he only got it down to 57 celsius on those sticks the g skill ones they're horrible dude 
just that's the that's the general ddr5 uh general ddr5 tip don't get g skill because no thermal pad on pmic they just get really fucking hot dude the team group ones have a thermal pad on them right um so this will work uh i would say up to if you want it to just work 7600 78 even this is kind of sketchy but it, okay 7200 that'll just work 100 percent. that'll just work 7600 you might have to faff a little bit xmp there um z790 big money uh apex and then throw anything you want at it it will just work it's like it, just throw anything you fucking want to that thing man it'll work like 8000 xmp might not work 8000 xmp might not work uh 7800 will every time every time dude it's 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 such an easy fucking motherboard dude because i've had quite a few apex consults where 8000 xmp kits didn't work on the apex you can always get them to work though right it, it's it's more of like a you're, you're you're playing the sweet spot lottery 8000 on apex is sweet spot lottery what i mean by sweet spot lottery is um the apex will usually do like i think it's 1.3 sa 1.4 q and 1.4 memory controller i think this is what the default is for when you xmp 8000 sticks this won't work on like 30 or 40 percent of them it's just off the top of my head it's not it's, it's it's a very this is like the um this is like the uh if you don't know what you're doing throw this in and hope for the best voltages kind of thing right i mean they, they can't do any better than this either that this is like this has the highest fucking plug and play rate right hopefully that uh covers what just works so z690 for ddr4 z790 for ddr5 and then these two motherboards are the easiest to get just working